Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree. It is already time for October empties. October is probably a fan favorite month. It always goes by too fast, but we are going to celebrate the end of the month by talking about all the products I finished up. So these are all the things I finished in October. I'm just going to go through them, share with you what I liked, what I didn't like, what I repurchased, all that stuff. So starting off, this is something I just finished up this morning. It's from Native. It is their body wash in the scent powder and cotton. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Native's body washes. I think they're fine, but they're nothing to write home about, at least for me. I find them to be good, and that's it. They're good. Uh, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this one again, for sure. Powder or cotton is just not my scent. Like, even air fresheners that have those words in them, I'm like, ugh. Uh, this smelled like the air fresheners I don't like, but it was fine. You know, it's just, it's fine. It's gonna rinse off. I only got this because it was 90% off, so I bought it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy that again. This, this was one of the most disappointing products I finished up this month. This is from Dove and it's the Exfoliating Body Polish. So I haven't used one of these in a very long time. I stopped using them because they were using beef tallow, beef tallow in the ingredients. And I had never seen it before and I had used up many of these until I saw it. You know how when you're in the shower and there's nothing to do and you're like, I guess I'll just read every word on the packaging of my products. And I saw that in the ingredients and I immediately was grossed out. I never used another one, but they did take that ingredient out, which is great. But I don't know if I'm just misremembering this, but this wasn't that good for me. I found it to be really thin and watery kind of. It didn't have any like body to it. Like when I scooped it, it kind of like started running down my fingers. I don't know what that was about. Uh, it smells so good. Mm. This was the crushed macadamia and rice milk. This is my favorite one as far as the scents go. It just smells great, like fresh cream or like uh, sweet rice. That's what it smells like. Ooh, it's good. Uh, but the body scrub just was, was kind of disappointing to me. I remembered it being so much better. Maybe they've changed it, I don't know, but I wouldn't buy it again. I found it just a little thin, not too scrubby. I felt like I had to like press it really hard onto my skin and it just, just wasn't it this month. I used up a nail polish remover from Walgreens. This is the 100% acetone, but I am gonna save this bottle because it's a pump and I just bought another acetone. I refill it and put it in here, but I thought I would show you this, you know, for representation or something. But I like this, it's just like any other acetone polish takes everything off, strips all the moisture out of your nails, but it works, you know? I used up a Mediheal White Hydrating Black Mask. I actually used up, I think, all of my sheet masks. I don't think I have any left whatsoever, and I'm adding that to my list. I have a big list that I wanna order from Style Korean, and I have a bunch of stuff on there, and on the list is a few packs of sheet masks. I like to buy the 10 packs, Sometimes I'd like to just get them at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. They always have a lot of good brands there at good prices. And I think that's where I got these ones. But I want to order some online just for funsies. But this was fine. You know, it's a mask. I've always gone back and forth on whether I love it or it's just fine. This time I liked it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy these ones again. Oh, another body scrub. So this is from Soap and Glory and it's the scrub em and leave em scrub. But it's the scent Missed You Madly, which is not my favorite scent from them. Not my favorite. Ugh, the scent, okay. It's a mix of glue, you know like caulking, like the stuff you seal your bathtub with? It has that undertone to it. It also smells very strongly of a man's old style smelling aftershave. And there's nothing wrong with that scent in moderation. Like if I smell a guy walking by, I'm like, that smells nice, smells fresh, I could tell he just shaved his face. But to have it in here and it be so freaking strong, like it made my stomach turn. The scent of this, I just couldn't deal with it. So the scent, not for me, but also the scrub. The scrub, what was up with this scrub? So this one had several different sizes of chunks in it. Some felt like they were this big, like small blocks of ice, and some were like this little, some felt flaky. You know, a lot of different types of scrub, which, but, you know, that's not a bad thing, but the big pieces felt almost sharp or something. Uh, also, any moisture on my skin whatsoever made the scrub immediately start dissolving and falling off of my skin. So I had to like move the water to the side here and like 
try to just stand there for a second shaking water off and then I get a glob of this stuff and have to go fast as I could before it started dissolving. Uh, so the experience was terrible, the scent was terrible for me, would never buy that again in a million years. This is the Dior Purifying Micellar Water. So I did a whole review on this and I reviewed it as a micellar water, but I ended up finishing up the bottle as a cleansing toner where I think this really shines. I think this is meant to be a cleansing toner, not a micellar water. I loved it so much. So what I would do with this is after I washed my, I thought I heard rain, I thought I heard something outside. Anyway, after I washed my face, I would get this on a little cotton round all over my face, getting in the hairline, just kind of making sure every little scrap of makeup is gone. Uh, I loved it. I think this made my skin freaking glow. It felt so clean without feeling stripped. And I said I would never repurchase this because I think it's $50 or something. I think that's too much for this. But once I started using it as a cleansing toner, it just turned amazing all of a sudden. And as I ran out, I thought, oh yeah, that's worth $50. I don't know if I'd repurchase this anytime soon, but I would like to have this again to use the whole bottle as a cleansing toner because I think I used it maybe up to here as my cellar water. I was using it just to clean off my fingers, to wipe away fallout. I think it was wasted like that. Definitely use as a cleansing toner. It was way, way, way better. Um, I have two more cleansing toners in here, actually. I don't know why I got really into cleansing toners. Right after I finished this, I went through my drawer and I was like, what else do I have? I'm really into it right now. I used up the Benton Deep Green Tea Toner and the Lactosica Soothing Toner from Unpa. I don't know. This one really irritated my skin when I poured it in my hand, patted it on like this. But once I started using it on a cotton round, it was perfectly fine. And then this one, same, I poured it on a cotton round and just spread it across my face. I used both of these in the cleansing toner kind of rolls, you know, wiped all over my face after washing my face. Really love the way that both of these worked for me. I liked this one more than this one, but I would not buy this. I would buy this in a full size because, you know, it's a little travel size. So I would love to get the full size experience. I used up the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Spray. This is my second bottle of this. I will love to repurchase it, but I have a few more I really wanna finish. I really, really wanna start working on the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. Now that I could kind of see it in the light, it's still like all the way up to here. I have had this thing for over two years, and every time I use it, I'm like, is this bad yet? But it's not, it's still going strong. I think this is the next one I'm gonna start working on. Uh, cause I really want to buy this, but I, I gotta use up some other things first. Uh, this is great. It works great as a prep spray or refreshing spray. I really love it as a setting spray. It has a really light, nice, fresh, like just a nice little refreshing spray. I mean, scent, the scent does go away. It doesn't linger or anything, but it's just nice. And I like it a lot. Wood repurchase. Melts all your powders together. Makes your skin look really good after you apply your makeup. It's lovely. This was a little bottle of the Garnier Sleek and Shine Shampoo. I don't remember where I got this, but I feel like it was the, the Walmart Beauty Box, I think. Uh, I kind of liked this. You know, I haven't used a Garnier shampoo in a very, very long time. Like, I want to say 10 years probably, because I tried one. I don't know if it was the same one, but I did the shampoo and conditioner, and the scent that they use in their products is so freaking strong. Like, I don't mind scented stuff, and this smells good, but the scent lingers for so long in your hair, it will overpower any perfume you put on. All anyone is gonna know that you washed your hair that morning. Uh, it smells good, but the scent drives me crazy, gives me a headache, but this worked. I feel like this really tamed my hair. It helped with the flyaways and like the frizziness. It was really lovely, but I would never buy it in a full size. It's just too strong of a scent for me. I used up the Innisfree Soybean Energy Essence. I loved this. This says it was an essence, but this felt like a toner. It had a lot of body to it, a lot of richness. It felt like one that you wanted to put on your whole body. I would love to buy this again, but I feel like I looked this up recently and I couldn't find it anywhere. I don't know if they don't sell it anymore or what, but it was awesome. If I find this at TJ Maxx, 100% yes, I would buy it. It was just so hydrating, lightly moisturizing, left my skin looking dewy and juicy and plump and hydrated. Loved everything about it. Would love to buy that again. Oh, 
Okay, so this, I actually went to Ulta this morning to look at this product because I freaking loved it. It's from Beekman and it's the Dewy Eyed Illuminating Eye Serum. This was so freaking good. Now that I went and saw it this morning and saw that it's $44, I regret like wasting some of it because I was doing one pump with a little like half of a pump around the eye area but there was always a little bit left and I would just rub it into my hands or put it on my face and now I'm like I wish I had only done the one pump and used just that much and really stretched it because it's that's a lot for a product but this lasted a long time and I swear I swear this made a difference so I would get it every day little pump in the palm of your hand because it is so watery. If you were to pump this onto your ring finger so you could go like this, it's gonna fall right off. It's, it's super, super thin and watery, so pump it into your hand. I would get the dab like this on my finger, spread it all under the under eyes, the upper lid, you know, where you put eye cream. Again, on the other side, I feel like my mascara is transferring, of course. Anyway, and I, sw and I would also put, and I would put ice, ice cream. I would put eye cream on top of that after it kind of settled in for a little bit. I feel like this made a big difference in the appearance of my under eyes. I just noticed when I would wake up in the morning, sleep or no sleep, I looked glowy and dewy and refreshed around the eye area. I, I felt like wide awake. I felt like I looked wide awake even though I might not have been that wide awake. I loved this and I truly feel like this made a difference in my skincare around my eyes. And I even looked for a gift set. I was like, maybe they have a gift set, you know, for a better value, and they didn't. I want that. I want it. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that. I used up these two masks, which I did a video on. I didn't like these very much whatsoever. These are from Aquaphor. It's the foot mask and the hand mask. I'm a big fan of this kind of stuff. I think the Aveeno one reigns superior. It is the best one, the best foot and the best hand. These I thought were going to be a lot better than they were because they're from Aquaphor. They're like the brand for healing your hands and your skin. These were nothing. You know, they felt good once I took them off, but the next day, the second my feet or my hands touched water, I washed my hands, I jumped in the shower, all of it was gone. I felt it just kind of like rinse right off of my skin, benefits gone, feet just as dry as they were before. Would never buy those again. I would go for a Vino any day. This was a bubble bath from Twisted Allure. This was the Cherry Lemonade bubble bath. I never used this as a bubble bath. Did I? I think I used it a couple times, but I ended up just using this as body wash. Uh, it was fine. I would never buy it again, but what are you gonna do? Ooh, this was a good one. This is the Aquel Licorice pH Balancing Cleansing Toner. No, I'm telling you, I'm all into cleansing toners right now. I loved this one. I, ooh, there's a little bit left in there. There's like a use left. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this tonight. Anyway, um, I really like this. So it says it's a daily pH balancing toner that uses licorice root water to hydrate skin and refine skin texture by removing dead skin cells and impurities. I like this a lot. It was safe for sensitive skin. I think it worked really well. I would buy this again. Thought it was lovely. I have a little mini of one of my favorite masks of all time. This is the Glam Glow. Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask. I love this for so many reasons. For one, the scent. There's like a hair. I could feel it tickling me somewhere. Mmm, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so on Glam Glow's website a while back, they had a, I wanna say it was like a half off sale on all their jumbo size face masks, and I bought the jumbo size of this. I cannot wait to open it. Anyway, this is a great mask if you have dry skin, you want a hydration boost, you can leave it on overnight, you can use it as a wash off mask. I loved it. I used it in the morning before uh, showering. It was the bomb. I love it so much, but I've loved this for many years. It's really good. I have the Tree Hot Hydrating Sugar Face Scrub. I love this. I did a whole review on it. It's a physical and chemical exfoliant, although they don't say that, and they don't put the sunburn warning on the packaging, but there are AHAs in here working alongside the physical exfoliant. So my favorite way to use this, in the shower or wherever, put it all over your face, scrub it around a little bit, and before you rinse it off, leave it there for 15, 20 seconds, just leave it there. And as it's sitting, the alpha hydroxy acids are gonna go to work, kind of helping slough off that dead skin. 
and the scrub is going to start dissolving. So when you rinse it, it rinses easy. You're not going to feel like you're re-exfoliating your face trying to rinse off the scrub, you know? It's so, so lovely. I do want to buy that in the full size. I missed it once it was gone. I miss it. I use this little guy from Pharmacy. This is the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I got three uses out of this little tiny one here, and this was fine. I, d I don't know if I would go out of my way to buy this in a full size. I think I found some cleansing balms I really love at lower prices, but it worked. It worked really good. I get it. I get why people love it. It's good, but I wouldn't buy it in a full size. I have a tiny little Luberderm here. This is just their daily moisture fragrance free lotion. I got this when I got a tattoo and I just kind of kept it in my bag and just used it up. Luberderm, solid lotion, would buy it again, especially to keep in the bag. I used up this little 10 pack of the Retinol Correction Line Smoothing Night Serum Capsules from Rock. I think Rock, Okay, Rock might not be an underrated brand because they're very, very popular, but I think on YouTube in this kind of beauty area, nobody talks about Rock. They're very underrated in the online world because they freaking work. Their products work. I've been using Rock products for a very, very long time, and I really like these retinol capsules quite a bit. So it's retinol and oil in a little capsule that you just twist off, you pour the liquid into your fingers, and you put it all on your face. And I love the idea of having retinol with oil because retinol can kind of dry out your skin, but having that oil in there kind of counteracts that. It's so good. I have used up a full size of these before. Um, I like these a lot, but number seven also makes a retinol capsule and they're like $10 cheaper, $20 cheaper. They're cheaper and they're just the same thing, but I do really like these and I would buy them again on sale. Let me just get the rest of this stuff out of here. This is from Guerlain. Girl, huh? the uh, bill, okay, honey treatment day cream. Let's just go with that. It was just like a one time use packet that I got with an order. It was fine. I put it on. It felt like a luxury face cream. It felt great. But there's something that luxury brands love to do, and that's use such old style fragrances in their products. This smelled like it's been around a million years and they've never changed the scent. And it's so strong. Why do high end or like luxury brands tend to put so much perfume in their products? I don't know what that's about. I don't mind scented stuff, but this was a little much, you know? Okay, I also used up this. What do you think this is? Leave me a comment right now. What did I use up with this string? Okay, time's up. A soap on a rope. Did you guys know that soap on a rope was still a thing. Okay, I have been on this thing about, I wanna use everything, I wanna use up all my stuff. Like I used up all my sheet masks, I used up all my body washes. After this, I had no more body washes, so I had to go buy a couple. Anyway, um, I wanted to use up everything, so before I used the body wash, I used up this soap on a rope that I found in the like toiletries little cabinet that we have. And it was, I don't even want to say it was fine. This was awful. It was awful. I want to say this was from Jack Black because I think this was from a set that I got my boyfriend one year of like Jack Black stuff. And I want to say this came in there. Um, the soap didn't stay on the rope for very long. It just kind of fell off. Just wetting it every day. It just kind of, I don't know, just worked its way off of the rope. So I ended up putting the soap in a soap pouch and that's how I used up the rest of it. I would never buy this in a million years. The soap was super stripping, smelled awful. Just, no, 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 no. I used up one of my favorite serums of all time from The Ordinary. This is the Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1% Serum. I did already repurchase it. I'm already using it. I love this. I don't like to be without it. And it's only $6 and it freaking works. Like once I started using this, I felt so much more confident without makeup on. Like I went to Ulta this morning with no makeup on. I put on eyebrows, okay? No makeup on and I felt fine. I didn't feel like, oh, my skin is so out of whack and there's blotches everywhere. This, this really, really helped uh, fix that. Something super exciting though, let me show you. Walgreens came out with their own version of the Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1% Serum, except this one is two ounces, where the Ordinary is one ounce, and this one is $7.99. So for a dollar more, or a dollar ninety-nine more, you get a full ounce. So there it is. 
Of course, I did have to buy it. You know, I work at Walgreens. I like to try everything. Um, and I am going to try it out after I finish up my current bottle. And we shall see how it goes. It has the same exact ingredients in it, not just the active ingredients. And everything's in the exact order. Um, obviously, it might be different percentages. Who knows? But I'm going to try this out and I'm very excited about it. I used up one of my favorite sunscreens. I think this is my favorite though. I have other ones I really, really love, but if I could only have one, it's gonna be this. I love it. It's the Neogen um, Airy Sunscreen SPF 50. Yes, I cut it open. Uh, there was one use left in here, just kind of gathered around the little rim there. But one thing that's great about the type of packaging that they use, I don't know what it's lined with, but none of the sunscreen sticks to the packaging. So when I opened it up, there was nothing in here. There was nothing stuck to the sides that I had to wipe away. It all drains down here. So there was just a little gather that I couldn't squeeze out, but I love it. It's great, no white cast. It is a chemical sunscreen, no fragrance, but it has a little bit of a sunscreen scent, but it doesn't linger. It goes away very, very quickly. I love it. I really, truly love this. Uh, it's the best sunscreen ever. I love it so much. Another moisturizer I really love is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This is just a little guy here. Use it up, of course. And I started using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream with SPF. And I don't know if I like it that much. I definitely don't like it for an SPF because to use the amount that you need to use for sunscreen, it's too much moisturizer. You know what I'm saying? So I'm massaging it in like crazy. My face was stark white. I looked like Mark Zuckerberg. I was freaked out and I was like, this is never going to rub in. It took forever to, to sink into my skin. So I'm not using that one anymore as sunscreen. I'm just getting as much as I need for moisturizer and then using a separate sunscreen. But the basic one without the SPF is really good. I used up another cleansing toner. I'm obsessed with cleansing toners, I'm telling you. This is the Benton Tea Tree Cleansing Water. And you know what? I really liked this. I didn't think I was gonna like it because of the tea tree. I'm not a huge fan of tea tree. I think it's very irritating to my skin. It stings. It just feels like a crazy astringent, you know? And uh, this didn't feel like that. This felt great on my skin. It felt really gentle. It didn't have a strong tea tree scent. And honestly, until I read that this had tea tree, I didn't even realize it was in there. Like the scent was that faint. I really like this a lot. I missed it when it was gone. I got every drop out I could. I wanna buy this one in a full size. I think it just made my skin feel extra clean, but not stripped. Like it's just, it was just nice. I like it. An eye cream, I wish I could bring myself to buy in a full size. It's from Shiseido. It's the Essential Energy Eye Definer. This little tube looks like it's not gonna have much in it, but I swear it's full to the top and this will last you forever. I feel like I used this for two months, like every single day. You don't need a lot of it, so just like the size of a lentil. On your finger, mush it in between your fingers, put it all over your eye area, it's really good. This does have an added fragrance, which I think is weird for an eye cream. I like it in the eye cream. I don't think I would like this on my whole face, but the scent does go away over time, but I feel like this made such a big difference in such a short amount of time, but I have used this before in these same little samples over the years, and it's always good. Always good. I guarantee this is like an $80 eye cream or something, but I wish I could buy this in a full size, but I would get that as another point perk, especially because these little ones last so long. And the last two things I used up are two concealers. This is the number seven Lift and Luminate Serum Concealer. I scraped this baby as best as I could with my little tool. I was going in there uh, getting everything out that I could. This has just a regular old doe foot applicator. This is a beautiful concealer. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know if it was just the ending of it that I was scraping around the sides, but the last couple of uses looked kind of ugly on my skin. I was like, is that the number seven concealer? But normally when it's fresh and good, it's smooth, it's pretty, it's skin-like, lasts all day, looks good under the eyes, terrible, god-awful shade range. I think there's only five shades and they all look like this, um, but it's awesome. It's a really good concealer, but I don't know if I'd repurchase it anytime soon. And then I used up what I think is now my Holy Grail concealer. This is the Colfi Main Match Concealer in the shade Ice Ice Berry. Again, I got my little tool in here, scraped everything out that I could. This is just the freaking bomb. I still want to do a review on this. Maybe one day this week I might be able to do it. Uh, it's, it's great. It, it is smooth. It is skin-like. It is pretty. It wears all day long. It will not crease under your eyes. It's self-setting under the eyes, which means you don't have to put powder on it. If you overdo it, yes, it's going to crease, but that's with any concealer you put under your eyes. 
I kind of put like a swipe right here and then I use that swipe to just work all over my eyes. I tend to bring it down in this area too just because sometimes I get too much and I want to blend it around my whole face. I use this as a full face coverage thing. It's just the best. It's just the best. Um, I love it for the under eyes too. It's what I pretty much would use it for every single day. And I did buy another one. It is right here. Love it, love this little baby. And I think this is my second tube I finished up. Best concealer ever. And that is that, those are all of my empties. Everything I finished in October, <laughs> I need some water. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know some products you used up this month. I would love to know. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.